we're going to learn a sketching technique in this lesson called oblique drawing. During this lesson we'll complete a page that will end up looking like this. We're going to start this lesson by drawing some squares on the top of the page but using the techniques we learned previously. So for instance ghosting over the top of the page so that I can get a nice parallel line that's going horizontally across the page. Again, turn your page so you can get your best straight line. And again, I ghosted over the edge and then constructed the square in construction lines before I use the technique where I go from point to point and then commit to the outline of the square. We're going to do that um, technique on all four sides of the square just going from point to point as you can see until we detail the lines out. Again in exactly the same way as you can see just making sure that I can draw that nice parallel line and again down below just point out I keep moving the paper so I can get the optimum straight line. Once I've constructed the box with light lines then I'm ready to detail line it again point to point just to get the best possible square I can. Now those construction lines, the tails of them, may go outside the square and that's absolutely fine. It shows that you've used the correct technique when constructing those squares. And just the last time, making sure by ghosting that I can get a nice parallel line to the page and moving that down. Again, keep turning the page to make it easy for you to complete these drawings. Okay, now we've warmed up with the technique, what we're going to do is we're going to draw 3D versions of these squares. So again, just make sure that I've got a nice parallel line by ghosting and then just use a construction line as you can see here to draw the square. Again, turning that page to make uh, the best possible job you can. And then I'm just going to detail line the square as you can see here. We want to get a 45 degree line going up from here. The best way to do that is to continue this outline with a construction line so it forms a 90 degree angle. Then if we split that angle there with another construction line equally, we can see that this is 45 degrees. I'm then going to ghost over it to get the second corner and then ghost over these two lines to get the third corner as you can see here. Now we need to get the back of the shape parallel to the front. So I'm going to turn the page and ghost over the front corner there and then move back and in the same way just ghost over that vertical edge and move back as well so we get nice parallel lines. Once we've achieved those we can use the point to point technique and lower the pencil to commit to the outline as you can see there. Okay we'll continue practicing these skills and so I'll draw another square here as you can see just using the original square to get those parallel lines. This one looks like it might be a little bit too big so what I think I'll do I'll just lower that top parallel line a little bit so it's not too big a square. Again, turning the page and ghosting just so I could get that um, perfect vertical line. And again, I'll just go over this shape with the detail lines so it stands out. Now I'm gonna use the same technique where I extend the side of the square with a construction line so I can get a good idea of my 45 degree line by splitting that 90 degrees into two. Then ghosting over that 45 degree line to help us draw the second corner and the third corner as well as you can see here. Okay, now I'm gonna ghost over the front top edge and move back. That probably looks a little bit deep. So again, I'm just gonna ghost over and go less far back so the shape looks a little bit more in proportion. Ghost over this edge and then parallel down vertically as you can see here. Okay, happy with that now so we can commit to those lines going from point to point and then darkening in the outline. 
Okay, I'm just going to finish off by completing the third cube using the same techniques of construction lines, ghosting, detail lines, and point to point as you can see. So we'll just finish off this drawing by adding a, a tone to one of the surfaces. Imagine light is coming from the top left hand side. So we'll just add a flat tone to each right facing surface as you can see here. Okay, now we're going to apply this to the drawing that you did last time. So using exactly the same technique to get that 45, project a light construction line up the left hand side and that will make sure you get as accurate a 45 degree line on the square as possible. We'll finish that one off in exactly the same way we did with the other drawings. Now we've got a slightly more complicated shape but using exactly the same technique Extend the left hand line with the construction line to get that 45 degree angle perfectly. But remember to ghost over those 45 degree lines to make sure they're all running parallel to each other. And then using the same technique but turning the page, we want lines parallel to the front top edge, parallel to that sloping edge there, and parallel to the front. Again, just keep turning the page to optimize how effective your drawing turns out. Even when you're outlining, it's advisable just to turn your page so you get your best straight line as you go from point to point and then commit to the detail line. Now when we convert the flat triangle into an oblique drawing, we'll use the same technique. So just extend the construction line and then get a 45 degree line that we can ghost off Take that over to the top point of the triangle and the right hand corner as you can see here. So as you can see this shape only has one surface that we can actually see in oblique and so it's easy to finish off just by detailing the two edges here and the back edge. Now you're going to follow exactly the same techniques to generate the 45 degree angle and the parallel lines and the outlining for the final three shapes as you can see here. Once you've done that you can add some tone to the right hand facing surfaces of each shape as you can see here. <laughs> 